event this morning is helping to train our future workforce. Junior Achievement of Upstate SC is hosting a breakfast in downtown Greenville. And the group goes into schools and teaches students the skills they need to succeed on the job. 7 News is Christine Scarpelli live at the One Conference Center in Greenville with more on this. Good morning, Christine. Good morning, guys. Definitely a program where Junior Achievement of Upstate South Carolina is training students for jobs. They're hearing from employers right here in the upstate what they need to know on the job. They're not seeing the uh, most promising things coming out of some students, some schools. That is why they're taking volunteers, going into schools, and teaching them especially those soft skills. Let's talk to Heidi now. Go ahead and tell us kind of the real deal, what you're seeing at some of these schools and maybe the progress that you guys feel like you're making. We are making tremendous progress. Our ability to go into these schools with volunteers from our community to talk about these soft skills is fantastic. The students love it, the teachers love it, our volunteers love it. So not only do the students get a lot out of this, but the volunteers do too. It really helps to bring them together. Students tend to listen to volunteers a little bit more. Um, it's mom or dad or a teacher they hear every day. Exactly, okay. exactly. So it really brings some value to them. It brings value to JA and it also brings value to the school district. Are we talking real skills here like like that they can actually take to the to the job site? Absolutely. These are skills where they can communicate with people, eye contact, not texting yeah, the whole time like place. you see just this. Yeah. Um, it's really valuable stuff. It's stuff that they're not getting every day. So when we have a volunteer coming in to talk about that, it really holds a lot of value. Very good. Heidi, thank you. We'll have much more on this coming up later in the show, guys. Back to you.